determine the last energy for LiCl given enthalpy of sublimation of lithium, first ionization energy for lithium, bonding energy of chlorine gas, electron affinity of chlorine, and the enthalpy of formation. Um, to do this problem, we're going to need two formulas, uh, two main formulas. Um, to get the first formula, we need to use the formation, um, the, the norm a normal formula for the formation of LiCl. So that is 2 Li solid, lithium is a metal, plus Cl2 gas, and that gives you 2 LiCl solid. Lattice energy is for one one mole of whatever that you're trying to figure out. We're trying to figure out the lattice energy for this. So we need one mole of this. Um, divide everything by two to get one mole. Our new formula becomes um, Li solid plus one half Cl2 gas. And that gives us L I C L solid. <coughs> now, the second formula that we're going to need is the formation of lithium chloride using um, anions and cations. So we're going to need the lithium cation L I plus as a gas plus C L minus. Chlorine, ca chlorine anion gas um, and that gives us lithium chloride which is a solid okay the main formula that we're gonna use is this one so basically we want to turn this which they gave us the enthalpy of formation for um, delta H F and that's equal to negative 408.7 so they gave us this we have this we're gonna use this to come to this um, so what are the differences between this for one we have a lithium cation instead of the lithium atom this and this is a gas over here we have uh, one half of a Cl2 molecule and over here we have a uh, chlorine anion. Over here it's the same. So we want to get from the lithium solid to the lithium gas uh, cation from the one half Cl2 gas to the Cl minus gas. So we're going to turn this into this and this stays the same. So this is already the same. Um, so what we're going to do is write some formulas down. Partition. <sighs> Straight enough. Okay. So we start off with lithium solid, right? And we want to get lithium plus, plus gas. Uh, first step would be to turn it into a gas. So lithium solid to lithium gas. That is given by our enthalpy of sublimation, which is sublimation is the transformation of a solid to a gas. Um, so that's delta H. I'm gonna write all the energies as delta H. Um, and that's equal to 161 kilojoules. I'm not gonna write kilojoules. Um, just know that the all the all the energies are in kilojoules. Uh, and that'll save some writing. Now we want to get from the lithium gas to the lithium uh, cation. So we have lithium gas turns into lithium plus plus one electron. So over here the lithium gas loses one electron. We're ionizing the lithium so that it loses one electron. And that's where we get our energy for this. Uh, the first ionization energy for lithium. So delta H is 520 kilojoules. Okay, 
So we seem to be set with lithium. We have our lithium plus here. We have our lithium plus there. Um, let's go on to Cl. Um, we want to get Cl minus. So we're going to start from Cl. Uh, we're going to start from here. They gave us the bond energy for um, Cl2. So since it's diatomic, if we break the atom, the Cl2 atom, we'll get two Cl uh, atoms. So we're going to go from Cl2 gas, we break the bond, that gives us 2Cl gas. Okay. Alright. The delta H for that is, what did they tell us? 242 kilojoules. But that we have 2Cl. We only want 1Cl, because half of Cl2 is 1. Um, so we're going to go from 2Cl gas and we're gonna go to 1Cl so the Cl gas and to do that we're just gonna take the delta H for the bond energy of chlorine uh, gas uh, and we're gonna get it for, uh, we're gonna get the delta H for the chlorine gas atom delta H is 242 over 2 I'm just gonna write that as 120 Okay. Uh, so now we have the chlorine gas, just like the lit well, we had the lithium gas over there. And same thing, we're just going to turn the chlorine gas to um, the chlorine anion. But this one's a little different. We're going to do on this side Cl gas plus one electron. Because now we're adding, right? We're trying to make it more negative. Um, that gives us Cl minus. Since we're adding the electron, we're going to use the electron affinity um, value that they gave us, um, which for chlorine is negative 349 kilojoules. Um, so, delta H, negative 349. Okay, um, this is where um, it can get a little confusing. Um, oh, and let's not forget we have the heat of formation. I'm just going to rewrite that over here. So we just have all the delta H's um, that we need. So I'm just going to rewrite this. Li, whoops, solid plus one half. Cl2 that gives us uh, forgot the gas here. Just we'll just roll with it. Just trying to do this in one take, so bear with me. And also sideways. Okay. Oh, and the delta H for that. Um, delta H is equal to negative four oh eight uh, seven. Negative four zero eight point seven. Ah, is that coming up? Oh, yeah, this is good. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay. So this is where uh, it can get a little confusing. Um, there are to all of these. Um equations there's a reactant side and there is a product side um, if we notice here we have the lithium plus cation on the reactant side and the chlorine anion on the reactant side and we have the lithium chloride on our product side um, and over here we did some formulas where we changed our atoms into what we wanted which was the lithium plus and the chlorine minus, and we already we just rewrote this in here because they gave that to us. Now, when we got the lithium plus, we turned the lithium gas into and we ionized it. If you notice, the lithium gas over here is on the reactant side, but over here it's on the product side. So we went from lithium solid to lithium gas. So if we want this lithium gas over here to be over here, we're gonna have to change this delta H value to a negative. If we go the other way, it should be the other. It should be the complete opposite. Same energy. Remember conservation of energy. Um, same energy. 
this different uh, sign. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to change all our delta H's to the appropriate value, um, negative or positive. So we're going to change some of these signs around. And then it's just a simple addition problem. So first we have the lithium solid to lithium gas. We want to put this lithium gas over here. So we're going to change the sign. So it's going to be negative 161 plus. Now we have the lithium gas to the lithium uh, cation. The delta H for that is 520. But remember, this is what we want. If you notice here that the lithium plus cation is on the reactant side of the formula that we're going to use. So we're going to change this into a negative sign also. So it's going to be plus negative 520. Okay. Add that. Um, same deal with the lithium as with the chloride. Remember, we um, this, we're not going to be using this anymore. Remember, this is the one that we're using. Because we only want one chlorine. So, um, we're going to get this chlorine over here. So we're going to change this delta H to negative 121. So that's plus negative 121. I'm just going to continue on with the addition over here. Okay. And then we went from the chlorine gas, we add an electron, we got the chlorine anion. Um, again, it's on the product side, we want it on the reactant. We're going to change this. So this negative 349 kilojoules becomes positive 349. So plus 349. Okay. And the last thing is our enthalpy of formation, um, negative 408.7. If you notice, um, the, they gave us the enthalpy of formation for lithium chloride. Um, in this equation, this lithium chloride is on the product side. In, our, in the equation that we wanted to use, lithium chloride's in the product side again. So we don't have to change this, uh, this value right here. We don't need to change it. So we can just add it. Negative 408.7. This is a simple addition problem. Uh, let me get a calculator and do this. Mm, negative negative one sixty one plus negative five twenty plus negative one twenty one plus three hundred and forty nine. Minus or plus a negative 408.7, and that gave give up, gives us the answer of 861.7 kilojoules. That is the lattice energy for moving forward. If you liked the video, just click a like. Um, okay, thanks. Bye.